Hello Church, my name's Darren and welcome to the, today's devotion. It's great to be with you yesterday and even better to be with you today. This week we're going to, we are taking a look at the power of the Holy Spirit and his impact on our lives, in our lives and through our lives. Each day we will build on the last as we look at the who, why and what of the Holy Spirit. So today let's take a quick look at who the Holy Spirit is and a deeper look at his role in our lives. He is the third person of the Trinity, part of the Godhead. And understanding the role of the Holy Spirit is integral to grasping the dynamic and personal nature of God's interaction with humanity. The Spirit's work is comprehensive, encompassing creation, conviction, regeneration, sanctification, guidance, empowerment, and comfort, all aimed at drawing individuals into a closer relationship with God, drawing you and I nearer into a deeper relationship with God and conforming us to the image of Christ. The Holy Spirit is our helper and counsellor sent by God after Jesus' ascension to heaven. He was an active part in creation. Genesis 1 verse 2 says the Spirit of God hovered over the earth. In the New Testament, we see his role in salvation convicting us of sin and bringing us to the point of repentance, which leads to regeneration and new birth. In John 3, verse 5 and 6, Jesus explains to Nicodemus, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. When the Spirit brings out spiritual rebirth, transforming individuals and making them new creations in Christ. He then takes up residence within us. In 1 Corinthians 6, 19, the Apostle Paul writes, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within whom, within you, whom you have from God? The Holy Spirit empowers us, enables us to live a life that is pleasing to God and helps us to do this, enable us in the ongoing transformation into Christ-likeness. He guides us in our daily lives, helping us work and walk through things by helping us understand and apply the truth of God's word. Galatians 5 tells us to live by the Spirit and produce the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and self-control. The Bible says many times throughout the New Testament that we are to be baptised by the Spirit, filled with Power. Who doesn't want Holy Spirit power in their lives, enabling them to to live life to the full? Spiritual gifts. 1 Corinthians 12 lists these gifts and they include speaking in tongues, interpretation of tongues, prophecy, healing, miracles and others. His role is to edify and empower the church so that people may know Jesus. He is our power and we cannot and should not and we dare not live without him. As we heard yesterday, He is for everyone. Love you, church. Have a great day and see you tomorrow for the third part of our Holy Spirit devotion.